What is up everybody? Welcome back to another van tour. I have been working my butt off on this bad boy. This is a 2021 4x4 170 Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. It is my absolute best work of all time and it has taken a ton of work to get it completed. We're gonna give you a tour of this bad boy today. We're gonna go around the outside first, kind of explain all of the specs on the outside of the van, including suspension, exterior upgrades, all of these amazing racks that you see here. And then we're gonna go inside the van and explain the interior features and what makes this van worth just so much money and what makes it so special. So without further ado, let's take you into the tour. So we're gonna start up here on the front of the van. We have, first of all, a very well-equipped Mercedes Sprinter. This thing is loaded with the LED exterior package, as well as pretty much every other feature that you can get from Mercedes out of the factory. On top of that, we beef everything up. So we have a 3M vinyl wrap starting here on the hood and on the lowers all the way around the vehicle. One, because it looks really, really cool. And two, because it protects the hood and the lowers from scratches, chips, and dents and things like that. Moving down here, we have a backwoods front bumper. This thing is amazing. It has a 20,000 lumen light bar right here. This is also a 20 inch light bar. We have four pod lights down here in the bumper, two spotlights and two floodlights. All of those are controlled by a uh, switch panel up in the front of the van. That's from Switch Pros. Down here, we have a worn winch Xeon 12S Platinum winch. This is a remote control winch and can pull up to 12,000 pounds. This van is about 10,000 pounds, so this thing will get pulled out with ease out of pretty much any situation using that winch. This just disconnects here. You use the little remote control that comes with the van and that thing can kind of get you out of any situation. Moving around the side here, we'll show you into the inside of the wheel well. So we do have a Van Compass 4.3 stage suspension package on this. So this allows you to fully adjust the suspension from soft all the way through medium and to rigid. This allows you to control how stiff the suspension is and really helps in high crosswinds. So you can stiffen things up so that when you're going down the freeway and you have that happy jack and all that weight on the roof, it's not gonna be swaying back and forth so much. But when you're off-roading, you wanna have soft suspension. So that really helps with that. We also have Black Rhino Barstow 17 inch rims with these 275, 17, something tires on here i could look let's see here what do we got on here um 275 70 17s um, these are ko2s they are the best in the game these things give you plenty of traction combined with the stage 4.3 suspension package and mercedes 4x4 you can pretty much go wherever you want that suspension package also gets you a 1.5 inch lift on the van and then back here we do have the Agile Off-Road Leaf Kit. So this is a 6,500 pound leaf kit in the back, just to beef up the back. We noticed it was sagging a little bit with all the weight in the van. So we threw that leaf kit on there to make sure that this van can hold all of the cargo and uh, cabinets and everything that's inside the build. Moving around the back side of the van here, we have an Owl spare tire and ladder. So this guy holds your spare tire and your extra rim. This is a full size spare on here so that if you ever do pop a tire or have any issues out there in the wilderness, you'll be fully taken care of. Uh, it also doubles as a ladder so you can grab on right here, put your foot here and climb right up to the roof like so. Pretty sweet and allows you to get access up to the roof, which is pretty awesome. It is, let's go back around the front of the van here. It is a Backwoods XL roof rack. So this has two 50 inch light bars. Each one of those light bars has two rows of LEDs in it. Total lumens on the front of this van, including the light bars and the front five lights is about 145,000 lumens, which is pretty much more than any van I've ever heard of. It is very, very bright when you're driving down the road. We also have window tint on all of the front windows just to make sure that you have all the privacy you need and to reduce heat transfer into the van. And up on top of that roof rack up there, we have Merlin fully walkable 240 watt solar panels. Two of those mounted in series gives you 480 watts of solar that you can stand on, walk on, play on, camp on. You can do whatever you want up there. It's pretty sweet. And we'll give you a little uh, explanation and show you what that is in a moment. Uh, mounted on the side here, we have a Fiamma Eagle 13 foot awning with built-in LEDs and it is legless and it is very easy to use. You don't have to mount any legs down here. You can literally just extend the awning out, turn the lights on and you're good to go. Um, there are also options to make it so that it turns itself off in high winds or whenever you start the van, which is pretty rad. Um, let's see what else we got here. Moving down, we have an Amp Research Power Step right here. 
So this power step is the best in the game. The cool part is, since this van is so high off the ground, it's really a pain in the butt for certain people to be able to step up into the door, especially if you're a little older. So we add this step to make it really easy to get into the van here. As you can see, that is a breeze. The con of doing a low step like this usually is that you now have a lack of clearance, right? If it's a fixed step, you're gonna be going off-roading and this thing's gonna get ripped off if you hit a big rock. But what we've done is basically mounted an amp step and that thing fully retracts up into the van. So if I flip this little switch right here, you'll see in a second, it's just going to pull itself up, which is pretty sweet. You can also connect this to a magnetic switch so that it automatically opens when the door opens, although the switch is a little bit more reliable. Uh, last things underneath the van here are 48 gallon extended diesel tanks. You can't see that, but it is mounted on the driver's side underneath the van and it replaces the standard diesel tank on this van to give you 48 gallons of diesel, which at about 17 MPG to 20 MPG, that's a lot of range. That's gonna be what, like 700 miles of range there. Uh, it's pretty substantial. So you can really get lost out in the wilderness as long as you want. That combined with an S-Bar S2 heater, which is mounted right inside here, underneath the passenger seat, is basically gonna allow you to run that heater full time in the winter and keep this van super toasty all winter long. It is fully designed for four seasons. Uh, what else do we got? Um, under the van, in the back, we have a Northwest Conversions 22 gallon spare tire tank, fully heated gray system on the exterior, which is controlled by a little switch on the bench. So we have electrical wiring running along that entire system, as well as pipe insulation to keep your entire gray system fully heated in the winter so that you can still use your gray system in the winter. There's also a remote, a remote solenoid valve outside, and that remote solenoid valve allows you to drain your grain tank onto the ground without having to manually drain the gray tank. One thing that I forgot back here in the rear, rear door, we have an Alavan Sherpa rack. This thing is very versatile. You can pretty much mount whatever you want onto it. You can put bike racks on here, surf racks, you can put bikes, you can put skis. You can literally pretty much put anything you can dream of onto this rack right here. It's pretty amazing. And then down here, we also have a uh, tow hitch. And inside of that is where your spare tire uh, tank is mounted. So if you actually wanna point it under here, we can kind of give them like a little view of what's under there. So this entire thing right here is the gray water tank. And that is nice and far off the ground. Gives you a lot of clearance. Some gray tanks that go further up front don't have as much clearance and can have issues getting kind of scraped off or even ripped open down the road. So we're up here on the roof real quick just to give you a little explanation of the solar roof deck. So these are two 240 watt Merlin military grade, flexible, fully walkable solar panels. You can jump on these, you can walk around on them and they're going to last a very, very long time. They're basically giant stickers that stick on the roof and they're very simple, robust, and they just basically just do their job. Back here, we have your Dometic uh, RTX 2000 24 volt air conditioner. This thing is pretty sweet. I'm sorry, actually this is a 12 volt air conditioner, but it runs off of the 24 volt electrical system down there. This is a 12 volt air conditioner, puts out about 7,000 BTUs right into the top of the van. It keeps the entire van nice and cold. It's pretty sweet. As well as at the back, we do have a Max Air Deluxe 7500K vent fan that is fully remote control as well. All of this is sealed in, waterproof, and that whole gambit. Now we're gonna take you inside. All right, guys, welcome into the van. As you can see here, we have a fully electric sliding door controlled by this button right here, which is pretty sweet. That does come from the factory and works really well. These things are great to have from the factory because the aftermarket ones don't work so good. Up above here, as you can see, we have the electric queen size bed lift, which we'll go into more detail later in the tour. But coming in the entrance here, we'll kind of give you an explanation of the front of the van first. So this is kind of the front lounge area. This is where you can hold up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe even 10 guests if they're a little cozy, but it's really fun for playing board games, having group dinners, and just kind of enjoying this side facing view here. As you can see out there, it is an absolutely beautiful view. Up here in the front, we have dual swivel seats. So these are from Scopima. These are the best swivels in the game. They're very low profile, so they don't raise your seat up too much, and they're very smooth. They're also locking and they face forward. We have the full power heated seat package. So these seats have full power control as well as heat. Uh, moving up to the front of the van, we do have the CO3 package on here with the 10.25 inch touchscreen, the full Mercedes media system. And the cool part about this van is it also has adaptive cruise control from the factory. So it will follow the car in front of you and kind of gives you all that tech that you want out of a modern day vehicle. 
Up here on the top, we have a headliner shelf. This thing is pretty sweet. This is aluminum powder coated, and this is here to hold all of your window inserts. So we do have full custom window inserts that go on all of the side windows. Those fold up really nice. They have this really nice, let's see if I can pull one out here. So they have this really nice finish on them. Kind of this like Cordura nylon material, a uh, little diamond pattern, and these are insulated. They magnetize into the windows really, really easily. So let's see, I can actually show you right here. Just an example of one of them just snapping in. You kind of just align it, push it in, and that's it. Now you have full blackout insulated window inserts. And those go all the way around the front windshield. You have them for up here as well as the rear doors and even the vent fan just to kind of prevent any heat or cold from transferring. Up here at the front end, we do have, actually we'll start here. We do have a fully upgraded sound system in this van. Uh, we have a kicker sub right here. This is a little powered sub. This thing really bumps and kind of fills the van with sound as well as an entire front kicker sound system that is fully upgraded running off of this head unit right here. Down here, we have the Switch, Pro, Switch Pro's control panel. This is what basically controls all of the exterior lights. I'm not gonna turn them on right now because we don't wanna blind our neighbors here, but these things are very bright and you can control all those lights as well as even add three more potential lights on there. So that's all cool. Um, up here, we have the four x four engage button. This is where you control your four, four x four features as well as, well as your four low features. Um, I think that's everything on the front. Uh, let's go up here. So we do have a WeBoost uh, for drive reach signal booster in here. This WeBoost basically boosts any cell signal. So it's not limited to one provider. It essentially boosts signal from 4G, 5G of any brand, essentially. This has an antenna up on the roof that we have taken off right now, but you can easily mount that antenna. And that's just gonna basically take the exterior cell signal get you a really high point and then bring it right into the van and kind of blow it up from this interior antenna, which is wired in and sitting up on this headliner shelf. So wherever you put that interior antenna is where you're gonna get a ton of cell signal. Um, what else do we got? So working our way back here, let's start over here. This is the beginning of your controls. So we have your heated floor controls right here. These are DC heated floors. There's a mat that goes all the way underneath the floors here. And we do have a nice concrete, kind of faux concrete uh, flooring in this van. So it's kind of scratch resistant. It is fully waterproof as well and sealed with silicone around the edges so that you can really not worry about spilling things. But underneath there, we do have that heated floor mat and it gets the floors nice and toasty. Just keeps them at whatever temperature that you want. It also puts off a little bit of heat for the inside of the van. Over here, we have your inverter on off switch. So this is basically what controls your inverter. Your inverter is what uh, converts 12 volt electricity or 20 volt electricity into AC power. The same as what you have in a house, right? Those regular outlets in your house. So that's what controls all the outlets in the van as well as the stove, oven, and the water heater in the back. Um, over here, we have a shore power inlet. So I like to mount my shore power inlet on the inside of the van. You can plug any extension cord in here and run an extension cord right off the gland in the door. But this basically allows you to plug your van into your house when you're not driving or when you don't have solar so that you can charge off of your house's extension cord and off of your house's power. You could even plug into a generator if you wanted, but that is kind of what the second alternator is up at the front of the van. So you do have a 24 volt, 150 amp second alternator up at the front of the van, which is the main power supply for this entire power system. And that power system is all housed in this driver's side bench. Down here, we have a 12 volt, uh, I'm sorry, 12 volt and 120 volt, as well as even potentially 240 volt control panel. We have two legs of 120 here on the breaker panel. So the same as a regular standard household panel. This is kind of unheard of in a van, but I do like to have that potential to be able to run 240 volt appliances, as well as just have tons of 120 volt breakers right here. Um, and then all the 12 volt breakers are over here on this other side. Pretty sweet in there. Uh, we'll give you a little tour of the electrical bench later, but for now, we're just going to kind of go over the main layout. Over here, we do have a factory window. This is a cab window. On the sliding door, we have, I'll go ahead and close that real quick, just so you can see, we do have a sliding window with a screen in it. So we basically have this window, this window slides back here, it does lock so that people can't just slide it open from the outside but you can also leave the screen open or the entire window. We'll go ahead and open that back up because we got an absolutely beautiful view here today. Right here in the middle, we have a lagoon table. So this swivels right around and gives you a nice spot to work or just to eat, dine with your friends, really whatever you want to do here. And that entire table is removable. You can just undo this post and kind of open up this entire area, store this table up here in the front or in the back, whenever you don't want to use it. Um, 
let's see where we're going. Uh, back here, we do have two controls here. So one of these is your uh, heated gray system. So this one right here is red, controls the heated gray system on the outside of the van. This one over here is blue. This one controls your solenoid valve underneath the van. So when it's lit, it is basically draining water onto the ground. Um, you don't have to have either of these on, especially the left one only in winter. Um, but the solenoid valve is what basically drains your gray tank. Um, over here, if we turn on up here, your water pump switch, you'll see down here that there is a nice little slot cut in the side of the bench. And that gives you a nice little visual into your water tank, which is what this entire bench is. So this bench is water. This bench is power. Inside of here, you have a 52 gallon water tank. And essentially you're filling it up with fresh water right over here by the door. You have a city fill and it sits in this tank. You can tell how much water is in there right here with this backlit light. And then it pumps it out into your sink and your shower here at the back of the van. We'll go ahead and turn that switch off here. To go over the passenger side control panel, we'll start here at the top. So this is your S bar S2 heater controller. This is basically what controls the diesel, diesel heater in that passenger foot pedestal up there at the front. And then down here underneath, we have three light switches. These light switches control the three zones of lighting in the van. Above the bed, the actual bed itself, and then the kitchen lights underneath the cabinets right here. These are all touch switches. They're fully dimmable, and they make it really easy to dim your lights in here. Working our way back, we have a cigarette lighter built in. That's just a 12 volt electrical source. So you can plug whatever you want in there, as well as an AC outlet here. And a nice little slot to store laptops and things like that. Working our way back, we have our kitchen, right? So up here, essentially, the van is in the living room mode. So this is the whole living room and lounge area. We do have a train driving by, but we'll see how, uh, how loud that is here. Um, back here, we have the kitchen. So starting on the passenger side, like I said, we have uh, the water pump switch right here, which is what controls your water pump. So when you turn that on, you can get water takes a little bit to get the air out of the system. But now you have water here as well as hot water if you want it. The hot water is controlled by this little timer switch and then you have an AC outlet mounted right next to it. This is a little soap dispenser right here as well as filtered drinking water that comes out of your main tank through a three stage filter. Up here, we have overhead cabinets. These are all pushed to open. So these have nice little push to open locks on them that keep them nice and locked while you're driving. So you do have to push in and open those. Um, down here, we have three drawers going down. This is just regular drawers essentially. This top one has a little magnet lock on it and it's essentially just the silverware drawer, but you can kind of put whatever you want in any of these drawers. Working our way down here to the bottom, we do have a electric wa hot water heater. So this is a six gallon water heater and really is more hot water than most fans have in them, but this thing is awesome. Keeps you all ready for showers and for your sink to have hot water in there as well. Um, over here, we do have your a trash can kind of closet. This is also just the plumbing for underneath the sink and basically just houses all of your plumbing as well as an extra AC outlet down there and essentially everything you need there. We do also build in a tube that goes into this drain. If someone wants to add a urinal or pee funnel, uh, you can basically add that onto that, that little drain right there. But generally that's just a little trash closet. This is a black stainless steel sink right here, as well as a fully removable faucet up here. So you can kind of rinse out your sink. Pretty sweet. And then the coolest part of the van back here, or one of the coolest parts is this walkthrough shower. So we do have a Nautilus retractable shower door. So this just comes across like so, just hooks on there, and then you can just retract it back. It's very easy to use, fully waterproof in the shower. And that's what opens up this massive shower, which is probably one of the best features that we have in this van. Back here, might be a little hard to see the entire scope of this, but we do have a four foot by three foot shower, which is almost residential size. It's pretty sweet. Um, up here, we do have a Nebbia magnetic shower head. This thing saves a ton of water and is mounted right up there. So you can just pull it off and shower. You have your mixer. And then down here, we have our Laveo dry flush toilet. This is the solution that I have been waiting for. I tried an incinerating toilet and it does work and we do like those, but ultimately this is just an easier solution to kind of get the same result. It's just very simple. It's removable. We can take it out and it's a lot easier to install and a lot easier to maintain down the road. Back here, we have window inserts as well as a mosquito curtain that comes all the way down if you want to camp and leave the doors open. Um, these are windows on the back here, but they're just full of these window inserts right now. Um, on this side, we do have your shower wall, which is also the garage wall. And we'll show you the inside of that in a second. Um, up here, this is a little cover. 
Got a nice little vent fan right here and this thing snaps right back on. Down at the bottom, we have a custom bamboo shower liner that goes down into this custom stainless steel shower pan and then down into your gray tank through a peach wrap um, right here. This is a little access hatch slash dog kennel. So if you do have little pups, you can throw them in here and they do have like a little spot to kind of lock them away so they're not chewing on things and making a mess in your van. That was kind of a personal request on this van, but I thought it was kind of cool to add that little feature. There's also a shelf in this garage that is removable. So if you did want to kind of organize it a little differently, you can remove the shelf or you can have full standing height in there. We'll show you guys the garage in a little bit. Over here, we have your full height closet. This is for hanging shirts. This is 24 inches wide. And you have three drawers going down and a laundry drawer at the bottom. We have your oven up here at the top. This is a dual convection oven and allows you to kind of cook whatever you want on the road. Right here, we got a stove, dual uh, induction stove. So you have two burners on here and that runs off of the inverter. This is the Dometic fridge and you can basically open this bad boy up. This runs on 12 volts or 24 volts and it is plugged into 12 volts right now, but it has a fridge and a freezer in there. Tons of room for all your goodies and a nice little drawer at the bottom. Another AC outlet over here. And to finish off this side, oh, right here, we got the Dometic air conditioner. So this is the inside of the air conditioning. And this is what basically is keeping the van cold at all times. Pretty sweet. Let's switch spots and I will show you the bed. So over here, we've got a button underneath here. This is what controls the bed lift, right? So you push down on this button right here towards me and this entire bed drops down from the ceiling. So I'll go ahead and go under it just so you guys can kind of see the whole thing here and to show you that I trust it. So basically you can set this down as far as you want here and you have a fully made queen size bed dropping down from the ceiling which is just one of the best things about this van no matter what you're doing or if you're entertaining people or what's going on you just have this beautiful bed that can come down and you can even put it in bunk bed mode so you can sleep two people up here and then one two three people down here especially if you bring like a little uh, camping mattress for the floor then you really have a lot of sleeping in this van can hop up here super easily or you can bring it all the way down between the cushions and bring it down to about this level as there are pictures on my website that show that if you want to see that um, up there at the front we do have a skylight that opens up it has a retractable mosquito net as well as shade and allows you to climb right out onto the roof of the fan onto the solar panels or just open it up at night and have some nice breeze over your face it's pretty cool when the vent fan is open or when the vent fan is on and the skylight's open and it's sucking air all the way through the van you're spitting it out the back. It is such a nice feeling in here. Plus you can open the passenger side window on the sliding door and have that air coming through as well. It just creates this beautiful draft all the way through the van. And then, and in the middle of summer, it is just magical. Um, this is a four inch mattress and it is held up by a happy jack along with a custom bed platform right here. You do have lights built into the bed as well. And we put this little neoprene mat on here so that when you inevitably bump your head because this sits right about here, you don't get too hurt. Um, that is kind of everything for this portion of the van. We're gonna dive into the electrical here in a second and kind of give you an explanation of, of all the electrical features in the van. So inside here, we have our electrical bench. Let me go ahead and open these guys up. We do also have four seatbelts here. These are not DOT approved seatbelts. We call them for like looks or entertainment purposes only, but they are seatbelts mounted to the chassis of the van and bolted into the chassis. So we'll start on the left side here. This is the most, uh, let's, how do I say this? This is the biggest power system in, in, in any van on earth. This is 1600 amp hours of lithium at 12 volts. It is actually 800, of amp hour, 800 amp hours of lithium at 24 volts. These are four 400 amp hour 12 volt batteries essentially stacked right here. They're all wired in in parallel into a Lynx distribution panel over here. But these things are kind of the heartbeat of the entire van. They will run everything in this van and make it so functional. So you can have air conditioning for up to about 65, 70 hours, as well as keep your heated floors on as long as you want. You can cook as much as you want. You can pretty much do whatever you want in here without worrying about power. And this is all charged by the solar, the shore power inlet, as well as that huge secondary alternator. So that is the primary source of power. And that alternator can charge this entire bank in about four hours, which is pretty awesome. And then this bank will last you generally for about a week, maybe even two weeks without even needing to drive the van, especially if the solar is coming in. So 
It's pretty amazing. Um, this is kind of my pride and joy of these vans. I like to build really big power systems so that people feel very comfortable living in these vans. Go ahead and close this side up right here. Over here, this is kind of the core of the electrical system. So on the far left here, we do have a Lynx distribution panel. So this is what's taking the power in from the batteries into the Lynx, and then it is what's combining all of the batteries essentially. It goes into your other Lynx distributor, and this Lynx distributor is what connects all of your appliances into your batteries. So right here, we do have a Victron smart shunt. I like to keep my systems very simple. I don't really like having complex monitors and screens and sensors everywhere because ultimately those things just fail. So this is a very bulletproof, robust system. And all you have to do is check your phone to access your battery state of charge or see how much solar is coming in, which is pretty cool. Um, down here, we have an AC to DC converter, and this is essentially the shore power connection for the van. That's what connects into the shore power outlet over here and allows you to charge your batteries off of an extension cord. Right here, we have a 24 volt, uh, 6,000 watt, 240 volt output, split phase, pure sine wave, inverter, charger. That is a lot to say, but it's also a lot of inverter. It is huge and it really handles all of the loads in the van well. So it is just basically what creates all of the AC power in the van. And it's what converts the 24 volt system into AC power, two different legs of 120 volt, which like I said earlier, is essentially the same as a household system. Down here, we have a 24 volt to 12 volt step down converter. This is what converts the 24 volts into 12 volts. It is just more efficient to go with a 24 volt system than a 12 volt system and allows us to get a bigger secondary alternator as well as have more solar on the roof and all kinds of other little benefits like saving on wire size and copper and just make uh, better efficiency in general. All of that gets wired into the AC-DC AC distribution panel up here at the front and then distributed across the breakers and circuits across the van. Um, inside this bench, this is fully thermostatically regulated temperature. So we do have a thermostat in here that has two fans. It sucks air in from this corner all the way through the bench and then up through the fridge cabinet over here. And it spits it out of this little slot right here. So it basically creates this nice heat, kind of like a chimney effect. And it sucks all the heat through the bench whenever it gets too hot, brings it through the fridge and from the stove. So whenever the stove or the fridge get too hot, it turns on as well and just starts spitting all that heat out of this front vent here, which is pretty sweet to make sure that all of these appliances last a very long time and don't ever overheat. It's the number one cause of failure with these appliances. All right, guys, we're out here at the back of the van. Just wanted to give you a little intro into the shower and the garage area. As you can see, we have your mosquito net slash your blackout curtain at the back here that covers the entire rear of the van. And then coming in here, we do have the lower portion of the garage. We have coin mat on the floor in here. This is totally waterproof and super robust. We have a shelf right here that's fully removable. It is Velcroed in right now, but this just allows you to organize the garage in multiple different ways. We have a nice little light at the top controlled by this light switch over here. This is also a dimmable little light, uh, AC outlet as well as a DC outlet in the garage to charge whatever you want in here. I designed this garage to be kind of multifunctional. So you can basically put your skis in here, surfboard in here, really whatever else you want in here, or you can have a shelf and store multiple different things slash have this bottom area as a kennel if that's what you're interested in. But that is the garage, that is the back of the van. As you can see, the shower is just absolutely massive right here. And this entire side of the shower, there's a curtain down here, but this entire side of the shower gets wrapped in with a really nice shower curtain. So it waterproofs this door right here, as well as the back edge of the shower pan and the back of the van. That is pretty much the entire van tour. I really appreciate you guys watching. This is my pride and joy. It's definitely the best van I have ever made. And I look forward to showing you what is coming down the pipeline. If you're interested in purchasing this van or having a van like this built for you, feel free to check out my website, shadenvalentine.com. Follow me on Instagram at Shaden. Make sure you stay tuned for all of the updates on this van and future vans. And we will see you next time.